When I start to paint in, I like to get a nice mid-tone in first. And that's why with tigers, I generally go for the area between the eyes. It's usually a nice dark mid-tone and that allows me to judge the other tones by it. So I can tell the lightness and the darkness of the other areas more easily by it. And I've gone for a lighter colour and I'm starting to work my way out from that mid-tone area. Now, sometimes you can be fooled by colours. The colour on the bridge of the nose now looks a little bit too purpley, doesn't look right. And when I'm wondering about the colour myself, I get myself a little piece of white paper or plastic. I put a dab of the colour on there and I check it against the reference photo or my monitor. It looked right, so I carried on painting. And you can see now I've put in the surrounding areas that it's worked out well and it looks realistic. Now once I've got a good portion of the underpainting in in a section, I like to then sometimes just get a bit of the highlights in as well. Now in most of my videos I keep on about toning the canvas first and this is the reason why. Look how easily I can now put in these highlights and they're showing up perfectly well. If I was working on a white canvas, these highlights wouldn't show up at all and it'd be really difficult to get an idea of the actual shape and form of the cat. One of the best tips I can give you is really to tone that canvas first. And here I've used some burnt umber. I did it with acrylic, even though I'm painting oils on top. And I allowed that acrylic tone to dry first. In the lighter areas, I've just wiped it with some tissue. And this video is on my YouTube channel showing exactly how I do that in great detail. Now here's a tip for you. A big difference between amateur paintings and professional paintings is in the detail, the fine differences of colour that you see here and there on your reference photo. Look for those subtle changes in colour. In this instance it's bounce light, so there's a real warmth to this section that I'm painting now. And that's going to lift the paint in and really make it look much more professional. So keep a look out for those in your references. Hope you've enjoyed that video. And if so, I got lots more on my YouTube channel. And don't forget, the only way not to miss out on any new videos is to click the subscribe button. On my website, I've got full length feature videos, I've got reference photo CDs, and ebooks, and also the new Easy Trace Line Art tool. So, hope to see you either on my YouTube or my website, jasonmorgan.co.uk. See you all again real soon.